Margaret, thank you very much indeed for joining us. That's just, um, okay, it's the hunt for talent, I suppose, we can start off with, and that's why you're going to have to boost salaries. Well, uh, I think because of the inflation, salary will be going up in the coming year. Not so sure about bonuses. Bonuses is a direct reflection of the results. So we need to deliver the results before we can talk about bonuses. But as far as basic salary is concerned, we believe that there will be some adjustments next year. Uh, we have employed about 200 people, um, uh, additional people in, uh, beginning of this year. And uh, if there are suitable people, particularly on revenue generating people, we will continue to employ them. And this is as you try and uh, you know, march into China more so, isn't that correct? Yes. Yeah, the, the, the increase uh, includes both employment in Hong Kong and employment in China. As we open up more branches in China, we will nat naturally need more people in China as well. Yeah, so what, what sort of branch opening timetable do you have? We have just opened one this month. Uh, official opening will be in a couple of weeks' time. And uh, we intend to open another one in uh, Fujian before end of this year. So if I talk to you this time next year, how many branches will you have? We won't be expanding uh, tremendously, partly because that is the hunt for talents, both in Hong Kong and in China, and partly because we don't believe physical branches the only solution. Yeah. We will be going the route of internet, phone banking and services. We will have maximized the branch uh, area that we have rather than um, have more outlets. Now, I believe that the Hong Kong Monetary Authorities have talked to you about reserve, your reserve ratio going up. What have they been saying? Um, I think the uh, MA is talking to different banks, and each different each bank had a different uh, reserve ratio. Um, that apply what is applied to us, we will be implementing before end of this year. Well, where are you at the moment with your? We reserve? we have factored in 50% of the increase in the mid-year figures already. So the remaining part will be factored in in uh, uh, in the year-end results. Okay, and what about uh, let's have a look at your loan book, uh, mm -hmm. uh, NPLs. Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of level of bad loans do you have? Uh, very low, very comfortable. Uh, NPL as a percentage of our gross um, advances is about 0.33 percent. So recurring for that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's also talk about uh, you know, of, of course, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority doesn't do anything, hasn't done anything about interest rates because of the uh, dollar peg. But quietly, the lenders here have been raising mortgage rates and other rates. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, will this continue? I think so. Uh, because the uh, deposits, a lot of deposits are now being converted into renminbi, so the, the non-renminbi deposits is not growing as quickly, whereas the demand for non-renminbi loans is growing very rapidly. So demand and supply drives up both the deposit rate and also the lending rates. Yeah. Both rates are moving up in tandem. Do you think it's having any effect on property prices yet, and what is your forecast for them? Uh, I think the... Um, um, the increase in the pricing of the um, of mortgage loans and also the measures that have been introduced by the government and also by MA um, had already had some in impact on the volume of transactions. Uh, not so sure about the pricing, but um, uh, volume had definitely come down. Okay, so do, do we just see a leveling off? Do you think that it can be managed? Um, I think so. But it really depends on what are the alternatives. If the um, dollar continues to weaken, for example, because of the uh, U.S. situation, then people may want something to invest. And equity, bond, um, property yeah. are always things that they want to consider. Uh, Margaret, I want to just also just move on. And you, you mentioned uh, the dollar there. Now, of course, for years we've had the Hong Kong dollar pegged to the U.S. dollar. Uh -huh. Now, is that peg, I mean, it's worked so far. Mm -hmm. Will it continue to work in the future if we continue to see dollar weakness? I think it works so far, so I don't think there is any um, immediate need to say it must be revealed at this point in time. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it is what you're saying? Yeah. But what about, uh, what about a, a basket of currencies? Wouldn't that make more sense in a way? I think this is really something for the HKMA and also for PBOC to decide. But at the moment, I think the pack has its advantages, disadvantages, but overall it works. All right. Okay. Being very diplomatic there. <laughs> okay. um, talk to me about Hong Kong inflows uh, over the year. How do you, how do you, how do you forecast those? Uh, the RMP or? Oh, just basically. It's basically. become a, a, an offshore center. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, Hong Kong had always been uh, uh, an important RMP offshore center, and uh, this is growing. And um, uh, I think this is also the footstep into China as well. So overseas funds are coming into Hong Kong. Um, I don't see any um, uh, major departure of funds from Hong Kong. So both the overseas money and also the ch 
a lot of money coming out from China is also in Hong Kong. So all in Hong Kong, all in all, Hong Kong is a very important financial center in this part of the world. People say that the easiest way to, you know, the easiest bet is if you buy RMB. Now, uh -huh. do you see a lot of people opening RMB accounts and converting money into RMBs at the limits that they can? In the um, second half of last year and the first quarter of this year, definitely. But if you look at the June figures released by HKMA, the conversion or the swap has slowed. Because basically, people initially is expecting the renminbi to appreciate, expect a lot of relaxation on the renminbi products. Um, the, renmin, the appreciation part continues, but the opening up is slower than a lot of people expect. So a lot of people are leaving the money in their accounts, which yeah. is not generating a lot of return. Yeah. So the conversion or the swap had gradually slowed down a bit. And I think it was stabilized. People got bored waiting, is that right? Yeah, yeah. People are now waiting for more changes to come in before they do the conversion again. Margaret Lung, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Margaret Lung, the Chief Executive and Vice Chairman of the Hang Seng Bank, uh, just going through uh, some of the uh, well, some of the headwinds facing the banking industry here in Hong Kong and what's been happening with mortgage rates.